Okay, so third time's the charm. We're going to the Cursed Royal Woodlands one more time here. And this time we will be successful. Now, I know we're going to be successful because instead of doing Prestige 10, I'm dropping it back down to Prestige 5. And, uh, and I'm picking to Prestige 5 specifically because the Platinum Seal requires a minimum difficulty of Prestige 5. So I'm just going to go down to the minimum difficulty that we need for that seal, even though we could go lower here. Um, we've been, we were doing fine at Prestige 5. There are no problems. It's just up here around Prestige 9 and 10 that we started having difficulties, I think. So, uh, Prestige 5 should be good enough. We can earn foodstuffs for city upgrades so that we can get the, the meta progression upgrades before we get to the seal. And hopefully we'll be able to actually get there in time. Because I failed a couple settlements so far this cycle, I don't know if I'll actually have enough time to gather the seal fragments required for that seal. But, we'll see. Hopefully we do. So, number of people here, uh, six or eight and two. I'm going with the eight and two because that's just better. Or just six on their own. So, six, eight, ten. We'll go with the ten. And it starts with the beavers, which is excellent. Beavers are really handy to have. Um, and lizards. I like lizards as well. So we'll accept some more people in. We'll take some stone. We'll take some... Fabric cost three. I'm not going to take the fabric. We do have the extra wood, so I'm not as wood from beaver um, woodcutters. They're just good at it. I'm not concerned about taking planks. I should take clay. That is a good thing to have. I think we'll take these two foodstuffs. There's a lot there. That's pretty efficient. One point each for a lot of food. All right. Let's embark with that. The never-ending rain carries a magical charge with it. It's dangerous, but very useful at the same time, and can be used to power to create powerful rain punk technology. So here we are. We've got the cursed battlefield. Uh, it's impossible to recognize the danger of the glades, which are now all of even size. So we're not able to take a safe small glade uh, just to search for resources in there, or aim for a forbidden glade. This is actually very impactful. There's quite a few... There's quite a few orders or um, um, cornerstones and things like that that depend on the glades that you open, and we can't choose them. Like, we can't choose which glades we're opening. Unless we were to come across the cornerstone for Mist Piercers or the other one that lets us see what's in a glade. I wonder if those are even available in the Cursed Battlefield. If they are, that would be really helpful. Very strong. Restless Spirits. This land has seen a lot of bloodshed during the Great Civil War. Restless Spirits can be found in the forest. So what this is, is when we open a glade, maybe we find a spirit, maybe they have a quest for us and we do it and we get some goods. Uh, it's not it's not actually super beneficial. It's okay, but I don't think they're that great. And then we did encounter a couple last run where uh, they had negatives. Like if we didn't do it, they were pretty nasty. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, we do have finders keepers. After each storm, caravans find countless goods scattered along their routes. Every trade route you complete during drizzle season will give you five random packs of goods, which is pretty cool. I like that. Flooded roads. As a result of heavy rainfall during the storm, the travel cost of trade routes increases by two. So that kind of makes us not want to do trade routes. This really does not synergize well. We don't want to be doing trade routes during the storm, but we want to be finishing trade routes during the drizzle season. So I guess that just means we have to have enough goods that our trade routes take six or four minutes or something or more. So we need to finish them, or start them, towards the end of clearance season. I still don't understand how the travel cost increases. My guess is that just affects when you start the trade route. So if you start a trade route in the storm, then it's increased by two. Uh, two provisions, is what I'm thinking. Under an open sky, villagers with this effect have soaked clothes and get minus five penalties to their resolve. But if we have housing, we don't get that, so I'm fine with that. Hunger storm, we can eat, uh, or we gain two stacks of hunger if we're starving. Uh, hopefully we won't be starving. Charged rain. Villagers with this effect have a chance of perishing if they don't have complex food and services. So we want to be careful about that one. That's a pretty tough one to deal with. with people dying randomly all over the place. I will put down a couple of woodcutter's hats. I could put a third. We have... Is that eight? I, my eyes are not very good. I don't know if that's a six or an eight. We'll put a third one if, if that's eight. We may use a all eight woodcutters. We'll put a path here between the hearth and the warehouse. This is my favorite layout. I think it's the most efficient in terms of bringing stuff between the warehouse and the and the hearth without having too much um, too much coverage of the area. 
at the entrance of the warehouse. Like we can put other things near the warehouse and have them also be efficient. Bulldogs. Seems good to me. Our hostility's gone up too because we put so many woodcutters in. So be it. We'll get to building some things we need. Crew workstation, we'll hold off. Actually, in case we find a workshop, we can check the building blueprints right now. A cookhouse. Cookhouse for skewers and biscuits and pigment. That's pretty cool. But we don't really need the biscuits. We'd only want the skewers for our lizards and our boxes. But that's not too bad. A druid's hut for oil. A cellar for wine. And one star pickled goods. Um, the wine is not terribly useful to our people. I just realized we have all three people like pickled goods, so we certainly want to find a good source of pickled goods. One star pickled goods is not the source we want, so we will wait and look for another. Clan hall for brawling and religion. That is quite good. That helps these two for sure. I guess we kind of want brawling and luxury or leisure or education. Or we could get luxury and one of those two. Yeah, we won't take the clan hall. It's not bad, but we won't take it here. I think we'll go for the skewers. Or alternatively, hang on. We can make oil out of stuff. We can use it for fuel. It says efficient fuel. I don't know how efficient efficient is, but something we've been running into a lot recently, um, at higher prestige anyway, is that we are having to pull woodcutters out to deal with the hostility during the storm and then we don't have enough fuel so this could be a good idea and we can make fuel out of a lot of resources these two resources are very plentiful when you get a sources of them when we get sources of them let's do that let's take the druids hut for the three star oil i haven't done that one before also we can make coats for our beavers a lumber mill for three star planks brickyard for three star bricks and a leather worker for th two star fabric and water skins I think of these three, I'm actually going for the brickyard. So bricks, because clay is a more limited resource, so being efficient with our clay is important. And the pottery will be useful for pickled goods. We're um, we're eventually going to be going for something that takes that makes pickled goods because all three of our species like it. So we definitely want a, a way to make containers. The water skin is another option, but two star fabric versus three star bricks, I prefer the three star bricks. We'll go with that. And then we have a tool shop, press, plantation, and a butcher. The plantation's not bad because we could get berries and plant fiber. Plant fiber, we can put that into oil, as we just saw. Oh, look, another three-star oil thing. And berries we can put in as pickled goods. So I think this is the choice here. A tool shop is another option. Uh, making three-star tools is pretty cool if we do get a source of copper and copper bars. Um, also, skewers and jerky. Did I? What was my first choice? Hang on. What did I pick up on my first pick? Was it the Druid's Hut? I think, that, yeah, yeah, of course, it's the Druid's Hut for the oil. So, skewers and jerky's not bad. That makes our guys happy. I'm going for the plantation, though. There you go. Decision made. Hidden reward for opening blades, we get more ancient tablets, which are great for trading for money. And we no longer have that 50% reduction on trade goods uh, that we have at Prestige 10. So, um, so getting going for trading is definitely more valuable now. Also, with our drizzle season bonus, it's not bad. It's a decent idea to go for it. We have a small press to make oil for every 10 flour produced. We're not really planning to make a whole lot of flour. Our foxes don't use anything to do with flour. Our um, our beavers and our lizards don't have any overlapping flour. They have pies, they have biscuits. Doesn't really help us. So we're not going for flowers. That doesn't help. And we're already going to be producing oil from our druid's hut. Let's take the hidden reward. There we go. Free money. And plantation, we're not going to be building that anytime soon. We can put up our crew workstation, put it right here. And then what I would like to do is block brick making on that and build our brickyard immediately. Plantation, so if we build a plantation, which we will, and we deliver berries and plant fibers, which I imagine we'll be able to, we can make more berries. Seems good to me. Uh, open glaze and rebuild or salvage ruins or sell goods worth amber to, uh, to a person. Now this one gives us better steel pickaxe and shovels. If we do find sources of stone or clay, that's great. I really like to have that. Uh, so that is the better reward if we do find that. We'll take it. We'll gamble. And then we have a timed objective. Complete any one dangerous or forbidden glade events within ten and a half minutes. So here's the challenge. We can open glades, but we might not open 
a Forbidden or Dangerous Glade, because we don't know where they are on this map with the Cursed Battleground modifier. Um, so it's kind of, it's a little bit risky to take this order, because we might not find one in time. Ten and a half minutes, and it takes our guys, oh, I actually, at Prestige 5, I don't think we have the slower Glade event thing. Actually, that, that might have been the Prestige 10 modifier, I can't remember. But, um... It is a little bit risky, just because we don't know where we're going. We don't know which glaze we're opening. Th having said that, this does give five parts, plus three to skewer production, which we would like to do, and uh, apothecary for eh, tea and incense. Not terribly exciting. But that plus three to skewer production is great. And the parts. We've been running out of parts recently. Let's take it, and we'll open some glades and see what we can find. If I start off over here, move this guy here. And we don't want to open multiple glades at once, because what if they're all forbidden or dangerous glades? I don't think we can have forbidden glades right next to us. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that's the case. It hasn't happened yet, so I'm going to assume it's a rule in the game that it cannot happen. We'll put two lizards in here. They can work on our planks and fabric for the limit of 20 and 20, as per usual. And we should probably get that brickyard going. Uh, one plank off. That's okay. Not a big deal. We can We'll get there. We can put this here. I don't know why I did it like that. Hopefully we find a 3x2 building we can stick in there. Nothing else we can put a rain collector in there. There we go. So this is a small glade. We need to open another glade. There's no dangerous, no dangers in there. We can, well I guess we can move our guys in and open stuff here. And then this is there to trade with us. We'll also put a guy here and just cut down not that last tree. Good enough. Just to prepare in case we need to open another glade if that's a small glade there too. Okay, so. Oh, this isn't Vliss. This is Gex. Rune scale. Hi, Gex. I don't have any amber to buy stuff off of you. And I don't have a whole lot to trade. I'd rather keep all this stuff. So it was nice of you to show up. Maybe we'll make use of him, though, if we open this and find something dangerous. I hope they open this quickly. Uh, because if we find something dangerous and we need oil, for example, we could buy oil off of him. But we need our guys to cut down these trees. Okay, okay. Getting it. Come on. Finish the tree. No. Yes. Alright, good. So, we can check it. what this is. This is a rain spirit totem. Um, we could use oil. We can use oil and plus 300 hostility, and we would get something that reduces hostility by 50. That's a really nice reward. It is clearance, so we have four minutes to deal with this before the storm arrives. I think we have the time. So next order of business is actually getting the oil that we need. 30 oil or 30 incense, which is cheaper. Oil is cheaper. Let's buy that. I... What do I trade for the oil, though? Seven and a half could trade tools. I'd rather hold on to them. Actually, we could trade wild fire essence. Why do I have six wild fire essence? There we go. Three of those. That was easy. Very nice. Let's throw a lizard in, a uh, fox in here, and then a lizard, I guess. We'll put the oil. We'll get 300 hostility. It makes our people unhappy. And they're going to have to live with that. You know what? I'm actually going to take some woodcutters out. You guys did well. Well done. Thank you for getting that stuff cut down. Um, and then a little bit more. We, you know what, I'm going to move this woodcutter back here. Just to help clear space around the hearth. And we'll reduce hostility. It still wasn't enough. Our lizards are still unhappy. You know what I can do? Oh no, I can't. There is a lizard in the hearth already. I was going to say we could put a lizard in there to increase their happiness, but that is already the case. I guess having some, um, insect collection would be good for them. They're happy to work those jobs. I think? No, no, they're efficient at those jobs. That's not a warrant job. We... Specialization is the foxes. I need more foxes, apparently. So, pottery is good. I'm going to put a limit of 30 on that. We use clay for it. Hmm. Alright. I'm going to put bricks as a much higher priority than pottery. I don't want to be using up all my clay on pottery when we, we can't build things because we're out of bricks. And I'll put a limit of 30 at that, too. No crystallized do for now. We don't need that. Now, these guys are making planks. Um, I could favor these guys, but then our beavers drop on happiness. 
So what do we do to reduce our hostility further? How much wood do we have? 68. We don't have a whole lot of wood. If I take these guys out, though... That does it. Okay, alright, we're doing that for a short while. And then I guess we will return to woodcutting during the storm, which is a little counterintuitive. What do we have for abandoned caches? We could trade... Get plus one fabric production and steel pickaxes and shovels. That's interesting. We do have clay to gather. That's not bad. Packs of luxury goods trade for a lot. And there's just a lot of extra production. I think this is a good one to use our stone on. Uh, we can get some people... We'll do that after the storm. We'll wait till after the storm to get more people. I don't want to increase our hostility too much. We'll send some beavers to do this. They can break it open in 30 seconds and get our star stuff. Awesome. Okay, hey, this is a good start. I'm going to put a uh, beaver in here for the time being, just that you can, I guess I'll put two beavers in here. There's no, need not, no reason not to. We should have housing though. Ah, uh, we should have housing, but we don't have the wood to spare. Okay. Our hostility this winter, or this storm, I keep calling it winter, it's not a winter. This storm we are going to be dealing with under an open sky where people are very unhappy because they have no house. Hmm. Three minutes left. Ouch. It took them a very long time to bring that 30 oil. And that's the downside of not having harpies. With harpies, we could put the harpy here in the, in the hearth and they increase our carry capacity by five which essentially doubles our carry capacity, so it halves the time that we spend bringing resources back and forth. All right, so that's the effect of no housing on full display. This is bad. This is bad. Oh. Yeah, 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 we have to complete the event. Okay. Um, okay, we have limited planks there. I guess we could have built a lizard house before to make him happy. And then kept some woodcutters in. We can't build fox houses because we don't have the crystallized dew. Do... Big, 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 oh, big shelters, of course. We have planks. I mean, I guess we're turning our wood into planks, but... Oh. Um... You guys could... Uh... Yeah. This is bad. Do I have coal to burn? I do have coal to burn. That did not do it. Is that minus five from under an open sky? Yeah, I should have I should have been aware of that and worked on this a lot sooner. Oh, they're building those fast though. Alright, we lost a craftsman. That's sad. Okay, that's one house. This is gonna help a lot. Look at that. We lost our fox. That's a real bummer. We need that fox working on this. Builder left. Scout. That was the fox, the craftsman. Okay, low on fuel. We lost our second craftsman. No builders gone. One builder remains. Wait, I guess we have enough houses now, though. Our people are still unhappy, though. Why is that? Scout left. We should get this done. We don't need the house built anymore because we've run out of people. We're down to seven. Down to six. Another scout left. So this is really, really kind of a rough start, isn't it? I'm going to take you guys out. We need you doing other things. Uh -huh. Oh, the two that were doing that finished. That's good. Hold on, guys. Um, why are they so unhappy? What is going on here? Looming darkness, hostility to the forest, and then nothing to offset all that. Lizard firekeeper is gone. Do we have any lizards? No, we are out of lizards, so let's put a beaver in there. Can I favor? No, I can't favor them when there's only one species. Scouts are leaving. Oh, that's the same one before. Scout left again. They are never going to get this completed because by the time they get there to work on it, they leave. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so this is an interesting strategy of mine. Jettis in my population. Hey, remember when I went down to Prestige 5 to make this easier? Alright. We got it. Bam, look at that, up to 9. Worth. We got minus 50 hostility for the rest of the game. Incredible. Let's accept some newcomers. Timed orders are ready to complete, we should do that as well. So we have 3 or 3, we'll take the 3 that have boxes, because I like having them for the Glade events. Hey look, a Glade event. 
Let's send a couple of foxes, and they can force people to join our colony. There you are. We need wood for sure. <laughs> Look at the zero hostility. Feels good. I... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that was worth... Oh, hamburger. That would be so sad if we forgot to click it, though. Wow. So we got parts. We did get one reputation for a building blueprint. We got an apothecary, which we aren't really going to use. But that's all right. Butcher for skewers and jerky. Hey, we like that. Clay pit for clay and reeds. We don't care about that so much. We'll take the butcher. Not much need for it right now since... Oh, I guess we do have some other guys. We'll take another cornerstone. Work safety guide. So education fulfilled gives us better production speed. We're not going to bother about that. Rich glades. Um... That's, I don't know, that's okay. It's fine. I'm not really going to take that. Global production speed is 33% faster, but traders arrive 50% slower. Um, when I first started playing, I was like, oh yeah, that's crazy. That's really good. I, I don't think it's very good anymore. I think traders are extremely helpful. And uh, the production speed being 33% faster is nice, but not massive. If it was 33% more efficient, then I would take that because then you're consuming fewer goods for the goods that you produce. But that's not worth it. And then houses have more villager room. Doesn't matter to me. So we're going to re-roll here. Without restrictions. Villagers have higher chance of producing double yields, but consumption control is disabled. Interesting. Oh, here we go. Master Blueprint. So I love Master Blueprint. I don't know if it's actually good because your gathering speed is decreased by 50% until you deplete at least 10 resource nodes. That's a lot of nodes to deplete. Um... And 50% reduced gathering speed is actually pretty impactful, I think. But it upgrades all of your camps, and I think that's amazing. Hunter-gatherers. All camp production is increased by 100%, but all buildings that use fertile soil have their yields decreased by 50%. So that's also quite good. All camp production is increased by 100%. So that would go along really well with Master Blueprint if we had both. I prefer Master Blueprint over Hunter-gatherers. Um, also on top of that, I mean, dec decreasing the yield of farms is a little bit sad because we do have the plantation we could build. Over-exploitation, what is this? Newly discovered resource nodes have more charges, plus 15 to small deposits and plus 40 to large deposits. That's massive. But you'll gain 30 hostility upon picking this cornerstone. Interesting. I think I'd rather take Master Blueprint here. That's a very interesting one. Like, if you found nodes that you really liked, no, newly discovered. That's the thing, is you have to find new ones. Then you don't have to explore a whole lot if you do find the ones you want. Um, I'll, I'll take Master Blueprint. I like this a lot. Bam. Upgrades to our stuff. We'll put a lizard in here because they're good at that, and hopefully they can get through all these um, insect nodes quickly. Soon. We'll accept a new order. So, deliver oil, deliver flour. Keep beavers happy and sell goods. I think we'll take the beavers happiness and sell goods thing because that's just easier to accomplish for free. Uh, same thing here. Wine and pottery. We can do the pottery, but we don't particularly care about making wine. I'm not aiming for the luxury service since only one of our... Oh, no, two of our guys do like luxury. So maybe we are. Hold on. Maybe we do want that. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. I contradicted myself. Uh, butcher. So a butcher would be good. The apothecary is not terribly helpful to us. Trappers are good. Herbalists. Do we have anything? We have clay. We do have herbalist camp. Some herbs to gather up there. Right now we're good enough with some insects. We don't need those things. I think we want to build a butcher. I can't fit it in there. Yeah, I kind of space things a little bit awkward there, haven't I? Alright. Butcher alongside the hearth. And this will cost some planks, some bricks. We should probably have somebody work on the bricks. We don't have many people, though. These foxes are working on it. Good job. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, sweet. So, put somebody in here to work on this. Um, actually, that should be... Yeah, we'll keep the foxes. We'll put, uh... Oh, this should be a fox. There we go. We'll put a fox in there. Now, for, he for now, we'll... I guess we'll just wait till they build this. And then we'll put a lizard in here. 
Ah. Yeah, so we do have some catch-up to do. We need people that we can get our production by. I'll put the beavers in there just to get some wood. Getting a stockpile of wood during the non-storm season is very good, obviously. We'll put a lizard in here, and we... You know what? Two-star oil. Is that good enough? When we can make three-star oil? Nah, three-star oil is 50% more efficient. Um... Because it takes two resources instead of three. That's that's much better. So I don't want you to consume these just for making jerky. And I'd kind of rather you don't use the jerky <laughs> for making skewers. If you turn three jerky into 13 skewers. Well, that is pretty effective, isn't it? Or use four meat for those. Wait a second. Is it actually better? Five meat for 10 jerky. So that... That's a two to one, like, or times two, whatever. Oh. That is way better. Okay, yeah, use use only jerky. It takes some more time this way, because they have to turn the meat into the into the jerky first. But then we turn the jerky into skewers at a way better rate. Just adding some vegetables in there. Okay. This is a really good candidate for uh, rain engine. When we have more people, we'll get that going. We could collect some plant fiber, and we do have the, so we have the mushrooms, we have the herbs, plant fiber, we do have clay, which is good. How are we doing on clay right now? 12 clay remains, and did I... I turned off stone. Yeah, yeah, we used the stone anyway, so no harm in leaving it on at this point. Unless we were to find more stone deposits. Yeah. All right, all right. Except the, you know, having gone down to three or four people remaining. I think we're doing alright. I like the resources we have access to. I guess we're just kind of sitting here and waiting. Oh, hold on. Let's put limits on these things. Say 50 and 50. Oh, it sure takes them a while to make jerky. So there is a storm geyser there. Actually, what does this use? Drizzle water. Okay. Hey, we haven't even reached one hostility. That's great. Our wood production is not amazing. We're still at 39 of them. Newcomers, we will accept you. We could take two foxes or two beavers. I am inclined to take the two foxes. They have they come with parts. And also, they're somewhat more useful. Beavers are really good for wood collection, but there aren't many engineering jobs around. And uh, and the engineering jobs just make them happy. It's not that they're more efficient at that. We could put beavers into something here. You know what? Maybe this is the time to make a rain collector. Or this is the time to open a blade. But they have cut their way through to this blade. Let's open it. This forest is really thick. Okay, hey, look at that. We found a ghost. So this ghost, they'll leave if we don't complete their quest within 45 minutes. Uh, their quest is to complete at least one event by making a decision corruption. Right, okay. We can do that. Uh, this would cost tools and or clearance water. Tools or clearance water. So if we gather enough clearance water, we'll be good there. Termite mound is great for free uh, insects. That's really nice to have. So I think we'll be taking this. Minus five to global resolve. That we're gonna wait until the storm ends, which is any time now. Uh, our options are to use tools, which we don't have enough of, pipes, which we don't have enough of, or use parts. I think we have to use the parts just because we need to get this done. Uh, there's no opportunity to pick up parts or tools elsewhere. Yeah. Oh well, so be it. We will, we will do that. And we'll use the parts for it. And we will suffer the consequences if we run out. Let's put boxes in here to work on this so that our resolve is lowered for a short amount of time. 
We'll take the cornerstone, the spark caster for blight fighters move faster. I'm not interested in that. We're not making biscuits, so we won't use that. Packs of provisions for every new villager. That would be useful. And for hidden rewards, which we already have, we could just double up the number of ancient tablets that we get. Packs of provisions is cool. Hmm. I don't think it's as good as I used to think it was. But maybe it's alright. I mean, we'll be getting a lot of villagers over the coming years. We'll just take it, I guess. Three packs of provisions for every new villager. Ah, it happens once a year. Now we'll take Hidden Reward. I know that we're going to be dis discovering more glades. So it just, it just gives us more and more the more we discover. I do need a Blight Post. Look at that. I thought of it before the game told me that the blade is coming, so... Good on me. I'm learning. I'm going to put it back here. Just because we're kind of out of space elsewhere. Whatever. I do need to open another glade so that we can actually find a corruption thing. I wouldn't mind getting a ghost chest. And a rain collector. I said I was going to do that. Let's actually do it. Now, new orders here. We have a timed one for deliver 150 drizzle water in 10 minutes. There's no way we could do that. Oh yeah, and we'd have to collect 150 drizzle water. It's not, it's, yeah, like it's not. And six buildings with rain engines. No, this is not happening. That is 24 pipes. That's a lot of pipes. It would give us ale per minute, which is not terribly useful to us. Spiced ale, plus five to resolve when under the effect of leisure. Interesting. Yeah, we don't care about that stuff. So farm fields, deliver packs of crops is something we could do. Value of goods sold is more likely that we'll actually do it. Traders arrive quicker, which is great. Pools, which are nice. And villagers will take that order, please. And then, oh, deliver three ancient tablets. I think we can do that right now. We'd get some foodstuffs that all of our guys would eat. That's nice. In fact, well, I guess the lizards get the better end of the deal. They get pies and jerky. Or we could deliver packs of provisions and complete four trade routes and we get these bonuses plus one plank production is nice i'd rather have the immediate bonus of uh oh not immediate sorry i need to open another glade i guess of foodstuffs and reputation of course these guys are working on this when they're done with that we'll open another glade actually we'll wait till the storm and then open the other glade and there we go our blight post is going up that's good we can put a lizard to work in here. We don't have any extra lizards available to us. So we can't do so right away. Clarence Water Geyser is useful. Hang on. Do we need this? I guess we need a source of drizzle water, right? That's what we're waiting on. I'm going to cancel this rain collector. Because I'd rather just find a drizzle water geyser. They do seem to be somewhat plentiful. Uh, I think that geysers tend to be either drizzle or clearance water more so than storm so i I'd, I'd rather just bank on finding another one in the glade we are going to be opening glades that's part of our goal oh you know what i should do is actually take the gentleman out and build a park we'll probably build also another park and a garden and this gets us the upgrades for our neighborhood which are very important we get plus two global resolve that's actually something i should always focus on doing in the first year just before the storm hits we want that plus two to global resolve no matter what we can actually move the termite nest that's interesting it's a harmony decoration yeah sure i never thought of that as a decoration i yeah we're just waiting whoa people are happy what's going on there we got some skewers i guess that's good they are pleased. We'll put a guy in here to work on making blight fuel. Yeah, what happened there? That's uh, That seems like a big jump in happiness. Hostility of the forest is affecting the lizards, but not the foxes. Yeah, I don't really understand how these things work. Hmm. Uh, Glade event, we do have the tools, don't we? 15 tools? We have 10 still. There's an order for tools. Oh, we can do this for their happiness, I think. There's no harm in doing it right now. We get a blueprint out of it. And we're looking for a building to rebuild or salvage so that we can get some tools out of that. Okay. Also, I should probably build a trading post. Ranch, 
or a small farm or a bakery or a herb garden. We don't want the bakery. The ranch is not terribly useful to us. None of these are useful to us. So what I'm going to do is just hold off on that. We'll build a trader right now. Something I should always do immediately, but I, I don't. And we will ask the trader to buy some of our goods so that we can re-roll our blueprint. I think that is the way. We can accept newcomers already. Wow, that was super fast. Five and five is great. We can go for six copper bars or we can go for these goods. Um, I, I think we need lizards. Let's accept the lizards. We have a few different jobs for them to work. We want them making food. That's an important one. We have the fox working on this stuff, but we don't have any clay. We want more insect collection. Although, actually, we have a lot of insect collection, don't we? Now that we have the termite nest. I don't think food is going to be a problem. We should get a, get a lizard working here because it's warm. They prefer it. And maybe we'll put a second one just because the storm is coming. We do have a lot of cysts to get through. Actually, we're going to put three and that way we're kind of covered. We can put another woodcutter in. Fuel is important, of course. Also, I never did build that uh, the three the level three wood oil place, the Druid's Hut. Couldn't think of the name there. We'll open that. Move this guy over. Say hi to Sahilda. What have you for us? We wanted to trade you some packs of luxury goods. Using a trade route would be nice, but I don't want to bother making the provisions right now. So we'll just trade her these. We can get a bunch of amber. And that will give us the ability to reroll our building blueprints. Is there anything else in here we care about though? I guess we could buy tools. What do we need tools for? Uh, we used parts already for something. Yeah, we're, we're not going to buy the tools. We don't need that. Don't need that. Plant fiber for every vegetables produced. We don't need that. And more coat production. Yeah, we'll just take 18 amber. Yes. Thank you. And we are going to re-roll this blueprint right away. So re-roll. Clothier for clo coats. Ah, there's the workshop. Um, you know what? I think the workshop is the best of these options because we can't really use the other two. T is not terrible. It's not great. It only benefits the foxes. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, the workshop is something. I guess it's more efficient planks and fabric. We will build this over... Well, let's delete this. And we'll move this one out of the way. And then we will build the workshop hopefully in here. I think it'll fit. Where is the workshop? All right. There we are. It does fit. We'll build a little path up there. Uh, lizard working on the insect collection. Why not? So Hilda's still there. Thank you very much for your patronage. Yeah. Too hostility. Not bad. People are fine with it. This thing, we still need to find an actual corruption event that we can do. Altar of Decay was one that we did last time, and that was pretty good. I mean, it kills off our villager. Oh, hey, here we go. The royal treasure stag. Where did he go? Oh, where did he go? Hold on. Up here. Oh my goodness, we're not going to get into that in time. We'd have to cut through here and then through here. Because cutting through that forest is just ridiculous. Okay, we'll give it a try though. Maybe we can get there in time. How many? I have six beavers. Where's my sixth beaver? Oh, he's in the ancient hearth. Here, we'll want... There you go, hostility reduction by having a fox in there. And you guys could cut through these trees pronto. We want to get over there within the next three and a half minutes. Maybe it would help if we built a pathway out here. We'll just we'll just build it like this. There you are. Might even be a good idea to build another warehouse in this glade, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna open that anytime, right? Okay. Sixth beaver in there. This thing needs a worker. Um, we also need people... We'll put one fox in here, but I might be pulling foxes out and stuff to get blade events done as we run through here. 
stormwater geyser. Yes, we have a lot of stormwater, apparently. Now we'll move this over here. And they have a lot of trees to cut through. You guys can do it. I think you can do it. Possible. Wait, is that another... That's another stag. No way. Ghost of a treasure hunter. He wants the need for luxury fulfilled. We're not going to worry about that. Wait a second. What just happened here? We got another treasure stag. Down here. Holy cow. Well, I don't think we're making it to that one. That's just way too much. That's crazy talk. What the heck? A minute and a half. You guys can do this, right? You guys can cut this tree down? Yeah? Cut the trees down, please. Uh, cornerstone. From the ashes, we're not taking that. Safe haven. So for every every hearth upgraded level 2, we get minus 40 hostility. That's a really nice one. We'll be building another hearth somewhat soon, I think. So that would be pretty helpful. Three barrels for every 10 planks produced is nice. We're not actually doing the pottery yet because we don't have the clay for it. So I think that might be our choice here just to get some barrels for when we do eventually find something that produces pickled goods. Um, without restrictions is also nice. We're not using consumption controls anyway. I think I'd rather have the barrel production for now. We'll take that. I really want you guys to cut your way through here though. 40 seconds, guys. Not to rush you or anything. Why are you cutting that tree? Cut that tree there. Cut it. Finish cutting it. Alright, I am very disappointed. I am very disappointed in my woodcutters. Like, why are you cutting down a different tree? Just cut that one. All right, we got a merchant shipwreck. We did not get either of the two treasure stags, which is extremely unfortunate, but I guess that's how it goes in this map because there are so many trees between glades. Like a lot of these ones have thin tree lines, I guess, but uh, over here, that blade, for example, that's crazy. So we to do this one, we have hostility increased by 330, but each ongoing trader decreases hostility by 40. I think that's something we want to aim for. We could get five ancient tablets from this. That's not bad. But it requires a lot of building materials that I don't really want to spend. And then this one, unfortunately, again, we are uh, we're put in an awkward situation where we might have to use parts. Do these caches have anything useful? We have a bunch of fabric, so maybe we should do a cache. Now we can't do a cache either. I was going to say maybe we should do a cache for the building materials and then use those for the shipwreck over here, but we don't even have the 30 coats, so that's not happening anytime soon. Okay. We did get a clearance water geyser again. I would like a drizzle water geyser. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's pick a new order. Keep beavers happy. We can do that eventually. I think. So, do we use parts for this? I'm thinking the answer is yes. We're low on fuel. Yeah. Okay. Let's move this closer to our base of operations. That we can get fuel more efficiently. There. And... I'm going to use parts for this. Feels kind of bad, but so be it. We'll take one lizard out of this trapper's camp because we have a lot of insects as this. We're not running out anytime soon. We'll take that fox out and put him in here with this other fox to do the merchant shipwreck using parts. Yeah, we're... <laughs> I'm glad we picked some things that give us parts, because we're going to need them. Yeah, we have a bunch of tools as well. Just have to actually complete those. Trade more goods. Okay. Hmm. Alright. So, we need more population for sure. Oh, we're about to get a blueprint. I think. Oh no, sorry. No, that was the blueprint. <laughs> this guy, we still haven't found a corruption event. So, too bad for him. These guys are working on this. Hostility is at 6, and yet our people are fairly happy. These guys are not impacted by hostility at all. Is that just a fox thing? Maybe it is. 
If so, foxes are awesome. I would like training gear. Oh, we do have a, some sea marrow that we could mine. All right, there's a fair amount of sea marrow on the map. I think we're going to... Whoa, wrong button, sorry. I think we're going to start working on mining the sea marrow. Once we have more tool. Three parts. Our parts are precious. We can accept more people here, though. So three or four, we'll take the four people. I need a warehouse up here. We'll put that right there. Put a house... Uh, how, a road. My goodness. Yeah. Road up there, into here. We got a new blueprint. That's excellent. So a grill, we don't need that. We already have a, a good place for making skewers. Copper bars and bricks and pie. Hmm. Religion and education. So we could do that. We could do that. I'd rather brawling in something though. Brawling in one of those three. Key mm, and forge. Copper bars. I think copper bars is the most useful one here, so we'll take that. Not terribly exciting options, though. This guy's out of clay. I guess we could also mine some clay. <laughs> Alright, new trader. So, this guy, we could buy some bricks off of him. I mean, we've got such good brick production already. Look at that! We have almost every brick place. Crazy. And not very useful. We have working hard and smart. A motivational pamphlet has a 10% chance of producing double yields when under the effect of education. So that's, that's good. Better pickled good production would be great. Um, I think I'm going to buy training gear though. So how much can we get for 8 amber? 22 training gear. I think that lets us complete one single event. Is there anything else we can trade you? Would you accept some wild presents? Yeah, we need training gear production. I think that will be all, sir. So that's 30. And we can use 16. Okay, we need two more. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll just requisition two more of those. We'll trade you uh, two copper bars. No way. Nice try, bud. How about some blight fuel? Yeah. All right, when the foxes are done working on this, they just have to bring some... Oh, they're bringing amber back. How about that? Uh, but when they're done bringing that back, then we will send them off to get these large caches as well. The storm is beginning. And we are low on fuel. Ah, yes. Low on fuel. Very familiar state of affairs. Where do we get the... Uh, Druid's hut, this one. Oh, there you go. This fits in there. So people are unhappy. I think to reduce our hostility, what can we do here? Uh, I guess the main one is taking our people out of woodcutting. There you go. One guy out. You guys done yet? Pretty close. Yeah, good job. We'll put one person on this. They can gather all those resources and the better. Pickaxes for stone. We haven't found any stone yet, so maybe this is not that useful, but it'll get a bunch of resources. We get lots of oil. This guy, yeah, we weren't pulling the luxury anytime soon. We definitely want to have some people mining sea marrow. And food's still not a problem. How are we doing on skewers, actually? Are we. We might be running out of vegetables soon. What do we have as choices for those? We have mushrooms. Can't use mushrooms on a skewer, apparently. Lots of clay. Look at all that clay. Wow. There is some copper. There's some herbs. So we don't have any of the vegetables for skewers. That's interesting. We can... Uh, what's, what's, what's eating you, Mr. Beaver? Soaked clothes. Oh, my bad. Right, okay. Hang on. Let's build... Oh, we don't have any planks for beaver house. We have the stuff for lizard houses, though. Let's get them some houses. Put them beside the insects. They like those. Alright. Build those, please. And just to keep our beaver from leaving, we're going to do this. Our guys are definitely going to build those houses quickly. Yeah. 
and working on it. Um, and I don't want the fox leaving, so I do this. All right. Uh, there we go. Okay, storm ended. It worked out fine. The house didn't actually help, but we still made it through without losing anybody. Giant vegetables. We haven't found any vegetables to produce, so we'll ignore that one. Gain one beaver resolve for every 70 wine produce. I think we are actually going to end up producing wine, maybe. Grain bags for grain production and woodcutter song is okay. It's okay. It's not a bad one. It's not great. I guess Vineyard Town. We have two orders that require high beaver resolve, so... You know, anything that helps with that is good. We have... Ooh. We haven't actually done anything with fertile soil yet. Or just fulfill these needs. Yeah, we can do that, sure. Two amber for every six packs of trade goods does not help us, but we... 30 tools? That's a lot of tools for an order. Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you. Whoa. Uh, this thing... Yeah, we don't have a service building yet, so we can't complete it. I guess it's time to build another hearth. Do we do that up here? Sure. We can widen the area up there with our woodcutters. They have a nearby warehouse. We'll put a beaver in this woodcutter camp. And I didn't actually open a glade during that last storm. I think, what would we want from a glade? We would want stone, that would be nice, and vegetables, or one of those things that can be used as cures. Those would be good. What was this order? These fulfilled for 30 seconds. Pies, oh yeah, okay, we'll have to buy pies from someone. I can put a lizard in here that makes them happy and uh, we want to build houses, of course, and decorations. We can build one more lizard house. Let's do that. We can build... We could build a beaver house, but that's going to use up a lot of planks. Newcomers, welcome to our... Oh, hey, more planks. I think we take this just for that. Also, it's more people, so that's helpful too. All right, we'll build one beaver house. They were the ones that stayed with us after during that harsh storm right at the beginning. Uh, so we can reward them with some better abodes. And then we still have one homeless... Well, I guess the homeless person will be taken care of once we get this beaver house up. We do need more housing just to fulfill the requirements for the upgrade here. Plus two to global resolve. That's a big deal. Yeah, that's something I guess I never really realized. Like, I've, I've always been upgrading the hearths that I build, but I only ever build a second hearth. And each hearth gives you another plus two to global resolve. So that's a pretty easy way to get resolve up. Keep people staying in your settlement throughout the winter. Throughout the storm. I said winter again. Hi, Zor. So I do have some ancient tablets to trade you and some trade goods, apparently. Oh, yeah, that was from one of the caches. Look at all those insects. We don't need more insects. Hang on. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is just before I forget. Well, I just noticed this one, so we'll put a put a lizard in here, get him work on the oil. And coats, why not? We can make some coats. It's not very efficient, but uh we can say 20 coats. That makes our beavers happy. Good. And then the oil, of course. We can use whatever you want. Uh yeah, we whatever you want. Whatever you want for the oil. What it's going to do is say only use insects for this. Don't use the meat because we can use the meat for other things. All right, good. Hello. Back to Zorg. So pickled goods would be nice. If he had pies, we would buy those for that one order. We could... Multiply is not too useful to us. We're not producing roots. We're not producing mushrooms. Planting crops hasn't started happening yet. So these things are not terribly useful to us. Pickled goods are obviously great. But none of these actually accomplish anything. I guess the wine does. Hang on. 40 wine. Deliver 40 wine and three more pottery. Okay. There we go. 40 of this. Uh, 40. Okay. And three pottery. One, two, three. So we can afford that. We can also afford a bunch of pickled goods. Let's do that just to make our people happy. 
And is there anything else that would make the beavers happy? I want to get the resolve high just to complete those orders. I don't see anything here. Flower, I guess. That's fine. We'll stick with this. So there you go. There's the amber. And we can complete this order. We get some tools, better wine production if we end up doing that. We traded a bunch of goods and stuff, so we get some more people. Hey, great. That's really nice. And a building blueprint. Stamping mill for pottery and flour. Fabric, we already have a workshop. Oh, it does have training gear though. And three star wine. So, all right, this might be the time that we actually take the wine production. And one star pickled goods. I guess it's better than no pickled good production. Oh, we do have a field kitchen, I guess. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it, sure. It's useful to us. Cellar can go over here. There we are. This guy is busy doing that. I still haven't found a drizzle water geyser. I know I could make a rain collector, but I want to find a geyser instead. This, we just need houses. Um, planks, yeah, we can build another beaver house, sure. And rotate that. And lizard house. Yeah, we have more lizards. There we go. Get over there. And we got another building blueprint. Great. So flour, barrels, packs of provisions, tools, coats, skewers, tea, porridge. Um, of these things, I guess the flour, barrels, and packs of provisions are the most useful. Yeah. I'll take the provisioner. Now, what do we have in terms of baking? Do we have anything like pies? Oh, not that. No. I don't think we have any pie production. So the reason I'm looking for pie production is for this one where we say uh, 14 pies, 14 need for pies fulfilled. We only have 12 guys, so we, we don't even have enough population to actually do these anyway. I guess the skewers do, because it's split across two populations. Beaver resolve high enough. Nope, that hasn't happened yet. For either of these, 30 resolve. Everybody's resolve is low, oh no. We haven't found anything to build or salvage yet. So we still need to keep exploring. That is important to us. I guess, what do we need to do for resolve? Looming darkness, hostility to the forest. Just lower hostility, I guess. Uh, we can take one woodcutter out and that'll be enough. We're going to do that. Problem solved, kind of. The beavers are still unhappy. Would you be happier if we were producing wine? Let's put some wine in here. They stop the whining. Ha ha ha. I can use these goods. Yeah, use those, I guess. Yeah. Make whatever you see fit. Uh, we'll put one guy in there. And we should actually start gathering some of those things we need. So, mushrooms are important. And we'll, we'll do that over here. I think we're running out of parts. Six parts for me. Okay. And then we should also gather clay. Oh, they're getting stone. Hey, we're making use of their uh, stone pickaxes then. Times three. Look at that. Steel pickaxes. Of course. Uh, master blueprint. Overwhelmed gatherers. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Nodes left six. All right. So let's put uh, a couple of boxes in here to gather us some mushrooms. Beaver resolve is low. What I'm going to do is favor them. Now, we're going to have a problem with the lizards as well, though. So this is a very temporary measure. Alright, foxes are now unhappy. Let's do this, and should we burn some fuel? We have 75 oil, actually. If we burn some wood... Ah, I guess it's close. Let's remove a little another woodcutter here. Okay, now everybody's happy. Good. And we can stop burning the wood. Everybody becomes unhappy. Really playing with their emotions. We'll just wait a couple seconds. There you go. Good enough. And then we can put the beavers back into wood cutting because we need that wood. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, we have some extra wood cutters. Let's, or extra beavers. Let's put them into wood cutting and move this up over here, I guess. We're still clearing space around here. 
We can actually open another blade. Let's do that. Let's see what it contains. Hidden from the queen. Yeah, we're not going to worry about that one. Smuggler's visit. A shady character appears in your settlement. You can choose one blueprint from all unlocked blueprints. That is pretty cool. However, I see on the right side there one of my favorite cornerstones, Rebellious Spirit. So I think we'll take this. Global Resolve for every two Impatience points. So right now we'd be gaining plus three Global Resolve for all of our guys. That's what Global means. Our orders. That helps with our Beaver Resolve, of course. It's quite important. Yeah, it's really interesting. I guess boxes just are not, not affected by hostility. Small hauler station. Cool. We can rebuild that and we get one of our orders completed. Yeah. Send in the boxes. And we have vegetables. Hooray. Orders camp. Gather those, please. And another spirit here. He wants us to have 15 harmony decorations. We have eight, apparently. I don't know how we have eight. That's cool. Glad we do. Let's build some decorations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just build them around him. And accept more newcomers and then build houses for them. We have uh, an option of seven or seven or six. So we'll take seven, I think. More pipes. Yeah, I think it's time we built a rain collector. I'm not finding anything useful here. We can move this to our main production site, which is this area here. We'll put it. We'll put it very inconveniently right behind everything. That'll make things extra challenging for the hauler. The lizard in that. And once they've done building these with their precious resources, we can accept that little ghost chest that might not have a whole lot in it. <laughs> um beavers. Well, I guess we'll put a couple of boxes in that and actually put another beaver in the woodcutting. Glad we have so many people. Alright, luxury. Yeah, we still have to find a service building. Okay. 16 out of 15. I, I don't know what I was counting there. That's alright. And we'll use up some of our precious oil. Bam. We got a chest. We'll send a couple of foxes to investigate. We get training gear? That's really good. Hey, workers assigned to Glade events carry 10 more items. This is very worthwhile. 20 pottery every time you discover a glade. That's actually extremely helpful to us. And tools. That was totally worth it. Wow. Awesome. So we can buy some stuff off of this. Big hauler station. I'm not going to worry about that. We have a small hauler station. That's good enough. Scrolls. Don't really need it. Additional plus one resolve for villagers with the home. So that's just plus one resolve. I am a fan. We're going to trade some trade goods. And... Not our ancient tablets, because I don't want to use those up in case we want them for an event. I guess, you know what I'm going to do here is just take six. That gets us to 13, so we can buy the plus one global resolve. And then throw on some training gear for the rest of it, I think. Because it's very useful to us. Okay, so we trade like that, and then we buy this. There we are. We should definitely open more glades. Let's put, uh, let's, let's open this one. We're not doing so well on reputation, though. We do need some of that. 33. We got some more tools. Need... Ah, yes, here we go. We rebu rebuilt something even better. Steel pack pickaxes. Excellent. More tools as well. Another blueprint. Very important to us. Uh, pickled good two-star. Hmm, tempting. Tavern for leisure and luxury. You know what? I think we have to take this because it gives us Gleeman's Tales, which is plus three global result. Yeah. And it gives us the ability to feed our uh, beavers wine. Beavers and foxes, actually. Yep. We want that because it also upgrades our main place. Like, that's just very useful all around. We'll put this here. The tavern is kind of en route to everything. And... We should probably... Oh, hang on. New glade. Uh, what is this? Just strange trees. Odd foliage. And a farm. Hey, there we go. Is that literally like... Have I just not noticed it? That's the first... 
Oh my gosh, we had fertile soil right there the whole time. I totally did not notice it. Ah, uh, that's pretty darn close to our warehouse. This one's also pretty darn close. How about that? Maybe we build up both of them. Oh, I can't believe I didn't notice it. That's pretty bad. That is really, really, really bad. Oh well. Uh, these don't cost parts, do they? No. All right. Feeling good. Uh, we are in clearance, so we'll get these built, put people in them. They can start fertilizing the soil before the next drills of the season. And you know what? This guy, we might actually get him done. I'm surprised it's, it's been so long. He's been around forever, but we are actually hopefully going to finish this. I guess we need more people working in the workshop. This is a good... Ah, yeah, let's connect the pipes here. Of course. That's so obvious. We'll do that for production. And it's going to be our only thing using storm water, so there's no harm in putting extra. Geyser pump. We do need the planks for it. Storm geyser here. Or storm geyser there. I, I don't know which one's closer. We'll just put this one here. This guy's still here, too. Two minutes remaining. No corruption events. Sorry, bud. You certainly use some planks. I think we'll put the priority up on this. Because getting that done means that this is more efficient, which means we get this other thing done as well. And then we should open a new blade. That. People are very unhappy. Now that's related. I think that's mostly because of the blight. Pretty sure as the blight goes down. No, it's just the looming darkness. <laughs> it's the five hostility. That's what it is. Oh, in charge rain. Hang on, quick. We gotta re remove our woodcutters. We do not want charge rain killing off our people. How is that? Wood, 251 wood. Okay, we will turn off all of the woodcutters. You guys have been doing a very good job. We're... Oh no, we have to... Oh no. Black treasure stake. We're going to have to do this. Where'd he go? Where did he go? He's down here. Oh, yeah, we're not getting that. That's way too thick. Of course he wouldn't take the one right next to him. Alright, that's fine. We'll just ignore it. I'd rather not lose people to hostility. Uh, flax might be useful. We never did build one of those. Harvester's camp. The last three... Is a harvester's camp that useful, really? What are we doing on fabric? 50 fabric. We don't need any more. We're fine. Why do we have 50 fabric? Did I not put limits? Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Well done, sirs. You built a lot of fabric. Woven a lot of fabric. We'll get this built at some point. Hopefully soon. Oh, yeah, this thing's done. Great. Foxes, please gather us some storm water. And then we can use that to make planks faster. Big plate rosses. Stone cutters camp needs to be moved. Okay, I can do that. We'll put it down over here. Get us all of the clay. That's so much clay. Insanity. Uh, they did not finish the plank plantation. Oh, we just don't have the planks. That's why. Either resolve is low. We'd already have that boosted. Um, whoa, whoa, 12 beavers, eh? So, I think what we'll do is we're going to replace these guys with beavers and boost their happiness as well. Look at that water usage. Wow. Newcomers, um, 42 clay. Wow, that's a lot. I think I'm going to take that. We're actually not struggling on people anymore. I'm considering not taking more people. 
We are, you know what, I'm not going to take more people because our limiting factor, once again, is parts. Uh, that's because I've sent away 17 parts or something for events. Now, 10 jerky for every 10 pies produced does not help us. Blight fighters move 30% quicker. I'm wondering if that is useful now. Maybe, maybe not. Pickled goods. 10 skewers for every 10 pickled goods produced. We certainly want to be making pickled goods. That's a good one. Uh, Zorg secret ingredient. Let's take it. Ah, uh, man. The newcomer thing is going to bug me now. Do we have any orders we've completed? No. Still haven't gotten the beaver resolve high enough. We still haven't built a plantation. And we still haven't fulfilled enough needs. Do we have to have them all for 30 seconds all together? I guess so. That's a pretty tough one, then. That explains the high number of tools. Alright, fox resolve is high. We can put woodcutters back in. And... Oh, there you go. Plantation. Good. We'll put... Um, guys in there. Oh, more importantly, tavern. Okay, I take it back. We're actually out of people, so let's accept some more. And then maybe this will get built sometime. This guy, what did he want? Decision empathy. Right. Hmm. So, plus three global resolve from this, right? Yeah. And they're going to be fulfilling the luxury Hello. service. We don't need a bakery. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. Anything else here? Pies. We need pies. We need pies and skewers and stuff. Let's buy... Hold on. Quick check. Our skewers can be made out of berries. Yes. All right, Zorg. You are going to fund our, um, our one order there. Mushrooms cannot be used. I think it's literally just berries. All right. How many of these do you need? Five? Worth it. Forty? Hang on. Hang on. We can get something more. Uh, biscuits, I guess. Sure. All right. Now, what we're going to do is hold off our consumption. We don't want to consume skewers, that, or pies. Apparently somebody already has. And we don't want to consume our berries. I think that's it. Actually, let's just turn off everything except for insects. <laughs> you guys can eat insects, okay? We have lots of them. All right. That should do that. So what we'll do is we're going to gather enough skewers and jerky that we can then fulfill this order all at once. We're getting pretty close on the jerky there. Yeah, 14. We actually just now got enough lizards that we could do this. But we need them to eat all those at once. Uh, this thing for 60 seconds. Okay, good. We'll get there. That gives us some more tools. That gives us better woodcutting production. And biscuits to make them even happier. For longer. Are we doing well on water? We're doing perfectly fine on water. We can take one of these guys out. Well done. Good job. I... This guy... Oh yeah, this guy's good. Here we go. So, we can give him some oil. Call him with oil. Get a little ghost chest. With some things that are useful. We like the clothes. That's good. Thank you. We need houses, though. Whoa. Did not realize. Whoa! Look at all those planks. Hang on. 33 planks. What happened there? 30. Alright. You guys have been busy. They want those houses. We'll build a couple more. No, we can build a few more. A couple more there. And then also... I, I might, I'm building these, like, townhouses or something. I... I think one more lizard? Still haven't found a crystallized dew for the foxes. Sorry to the foxes. They're not getting anything special. They're happy enough as is, though. They're very reliable. I think foxes are great. And well, how about that other plantation? Did we ever build that? We did. We got a new reputation. Good. 
We'll put one beaver and one lizard in here. We have wood. Ah, oh, we don't have as much wood as I thought we would. Uh, Woodcutters need to be moved. Okay. Put them here. They're gathering stuff. They're not very fast at it, apparently. Like, they're not very fast at planting. There wasn't a whole lot there. Uh, we can accept... Oh, hey, there we go. Constructed these. We can deliver some berries. Oh, I don't want to deliver the berries. I want to make skewers out of them. How many skewers and things do we have? Collected. 40 skewers? Oh, okay. 40, 45, 39. I think we're good to turn the consumption back on then. Have at them. Look at how happy our people are. Wow. So, we can complete this. There goes 15 of our berries. We can complete this. Hey, hey. Very good. And a grill. We don't need that. Stamping mill. We don't need that. A form for leisure and education. Do we need education? We don't have scrolls, but we could be buying them. Two-star pickled goods. I think I'd rather have that. That's good. We'll build it. Uh, we did do the cellar. Yeah, we'll put the two-star pickled goods right here. And the cellar, we can turn the pickled goods off. I'd rather make them more efficiently over here. Also, this thing. Do we... No, we still haven't found a drizzled water geyser. I am very stubborn. <laughs> I'm not building... A rain collector. So, flower field now. We want the park. A couple of parks. And a garden. And then four of those little fire shrines. Actually, can we move these ones? For free! Okay, good. Let's do that one at a time. This thing has... Oh, it has plenty. I, I didn't realize. We already had tons. So we'll build the parks in the garden. That will be good enough. We haven't actually built a park here. Whoops. One, two, three. And a garden. And uh, Herbless Camp needs to be moved. Okay. Everybody's super happy. That's great. Very good news. We'll move them over here to gather some mushrooms all the way down there. Wow. And then the forages camp also needs to be moved. Over right here, we'll just grab some grain. New blueprint, excellent. Temple for religion and education. So, uh, I think religion would be good. We don't have incense. Oh, treatment and brawling, here we go. I think that's what we want. How does vitality work again? I always forget. Plus one global resolve for every 200 units of any complex food consumed. Absolutely, we want the tea doctor. Training gear is excellent. We'd really like to have that, but at this point of the game, I just want the tea doctor. So we'll take it. We'll build it over here. Just, uh, just a little copper deposit right in the middle of our base. Oh, why are the lizards so unhappy? What's wrong, guys? Okay. So apparently all this stuff, they have all of these services and they're still not happy. Huh. Wait, people are dying. Uh, White fighter died. We have beanery. Let's put some guys in the beanery. I'm getting distracted, I know. I. Yeah, you guys can use whatever to make pores, use whatever to make pickled goods, that's good. We need a guy in here. They're happy to work in it, even though it's a dangerous job, apparently. Stone cutting. They're getting copper somehow. Good. Trapper died. We want a lizard working that. Ah, we don't need more. We're doing fine on insects. No hurry on that. We'll take the woodcutters out because they are actually causing the deaths of our civilization. Or our peoples. Civilians. That's the word I was looking for. There we go. Good enough. How are we doing on wood? 125. Yeah, that five hostility is nasty. Wow. Ah, we'll put one lizard in here. No, we won't. Anything we don't need them in? Wait a second. We can put anybody in here. Uh, wait for him to make these codes. Are we running out of water? I think we are. I guess we will be now that we're making porridge. 
we can assume the water will porch. So it doesn't hurt to have two guys in the guys right now. I guess we could. Oh, T Doctor. Yay! We need more people. One, two, three. We'll put one guy in here. Two guys in here? Alright. And just move the woodcutter hat over a little bit. They can give out the rolling. Nice. Newcomers? Sure, we need more people. Berries are good. Stone is nice. I like the berries. And we can put one trapper in there. Have we finished? What? Forest mystery, charged rain. Charged rain. Oh no, I accepted people. Our hostility must have jumped up to five. They got killed by the charged rain and we brought it back down to four. Oh, I'm sorry guys. No, our cook died. He made so many good meals. I need to take him out, put him in there, and a stone cutter as well. We'll put a box. Yikes, charged rain is so mean. Sother, hello Sother. So, we would like to buy some incense from... not incense. We have a tea doctor. We want brawling tools and wine. Those are the things that we require. 24. Ooh. There we go. That covers a lot of what we need. Thank you. Woo-wee! Look at how happy everybody is once the storm is over. We'll put more beavers into woodcutting, of course. Very, very important. And, uh, there we go. We're making oil. We're not actually using it as a fuel source, which is a little bit silly of me. Explore Lodge. Training gear. Training gear. We'll take it. Manny Factory. I don't think we're actually going to bother building it, though. Cannibalism. Meat for every person that dies or leaves. Uh, silent looting is great kind of late in the game because it doesn't apply retroactively, but that is a really good one to have. I'm going to take it because, sure, why not? We have tools, don't we? 49 tools. Let's go open some caches. We can win the game now. Uh, investigate that. Is that the only cache? No way. Seriously. Okay. Let's open another cache then. Um, we can go up here and we can move one of these guys to open a cache or not a cache a glade because there's a lot of trees to get through aren't there okay we'll move them over here we'll just dig oh our people aren't happy enough that's okay our one fox guy is working on that cache down here Two fox guys working on the cash. 20 seconds remain, and then I think we just win the game. Yeah. Hooray! Forge's camp. Okay. Cursed lands. Win a game on the Cursed Royal Woodlands biome. Wow. That is a... It's a tough one, and... It's actually... I'd say it's not tough so much because of the glades. Like, yes, that certainly makes it very difficult. Very difficult. Makes it very difficult because of the uncertainty that you have to deal with uh, in terms of, well, opening glaze in general, but also when you get those timed orders and uh, and things. So it definitely makes it quite difficult. And then also the stags. We got so many stags there, we weren't able to get to any of them just because of how many trees there were in the way. So I say the layout of the land is actually the harder part, but uh, that's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I like it. And then the ghosts, sometimes they're helpful. Thick clouds. Win a game in the Cursed Royal Woodlands biome and on Viceroy difficulty or higher. Oh, okay. Nice. We did it. Back to the world map. We're actually quite close to leveling up. We are going to be three experience away from leveling up. Huh. So, Smoldering City. Actually, let's have a quick look up here. What did we find? We found a Brass Order Engineers. The narrow and winding path through the forest suddenly opens up and a huge clearing appears before you. In the distance, you can see a group of beavers hammering away at what appears to be a wooden scaffolding. Their uniforms bear the mark of the Brass Order. Trade with them, pay 10 machinery, and gain 25 food stockpile. So we actually have 111 machinery right now. I would not mind doing that. 
or help them out. Win before year eight. Ooh, tall order. With three hearths upgraded to district level three. Gain 15 crystallized dew for the duration of the cycle. That's not worth it to me at all. That's a challenge. It is a challenge. I, I never build three hearths. Although I could. It's not that bad. But uh, that means three luxury buildings. Which... Uh, three, uh, three service buildings. Which are quite costly in, in base materials. Winning by year eight is something we certainly can do. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to take that. Pay 10 machinery for 25 food stockpile. I think I'll do that. I'm a little bit concerned about our artifacts going down. We're down to 68. I feel these are going to become a little bit more difficult to come by as the game progresses. You know what? In fact, I am not going to accept that because we can always get foodstuffs. We can just make another settlement. We get more foodstuffs. I don't actually know how we get artifacts and machinery. Yeah, I actually don't know how we do that. So let's not use it up. We can just go out over here. But first, the smoldering city. Deed. So we got... Oh, no, this doesn't give experience. Hang on. So decorations are used. We know what decorations do. We got a wall crossing. And a wall. Sweet. So you can get the... You can get the wall crossing. But if you hadn't done it on Viceroy, you wouldn't have a wall. Okay. They look the same to me. Cool. Upgrades. So down here, foodstuffs. We could get larger storage, plus five to the storage capacity of all buildings in your settlement. That's nice. Uh, embarkation bonus of parts. Oh, wow. <laughs> that might be useful to us. Embarkation bonus of a small farm, plantation, herb garden. So that's really interesting, actually. A small farm. We could start off with a small farm. If we see that our caravan has humans, that wouldn't be a bad idea to just take the small farm. Uh, embarkation bonus of amber and stuff. This is one that I actually really want. But it's 120 foodstuffs. We only have 111. Yes, I could trade 10 machinery to get it, but I'd rather not trade the machinery because we see the cost of things going up. Actually, it gets super costly there. Holy crap. 30 artifacts, 30 machinery. How do you get those? Hmm. That might become a struggle. So let's take this embarkation bonus. Plus one boost, 1% uh, boost to global production. Really? So that's great. Herb garden. Those aren't amazingly useful. Forgers. Actually, let's look at the other things. So, 30 seconds of time after reaching maximum impatience to try and save your settlement. So you just get 30 seconds additional. Uh, embarkation bonus of Trapper's Camp. Plus one of the carry capacity is actually pretty helpful. Parts. Larger storage. You know what? Maybe we go this way first. Get that carry capacity. And, uh, and the plus five to storage capacity is actually... I think probably really helpful, especially with the big hauler coming out. Uh, now we can use the hauler so people can put more in their storage and continue working on what they're good at instead of bringing things around. Cool. 